Hello everyone, Megan Cox here. Today we will be exploring the iOS version of Adobe Spark Video. This is a creation-based app that allows you to create multimedia slides that publish as a video. Once logged in to Adobe Spark Video, you will come to a screen that allows you to choose from inspiration videos, which are pre-created videos, the plus sign to create your own video, or a tab for my videos where all of your work will be stored. Once you hit the plus sign, you will get an option to create a title. You can skip this if you want a blank canvas. After that, it gives you a choice of a bunch of different outlines or templates based off of an idea. So for instance, you can, if you are promoting an idea, you can choose this template. If you were just gonna tell something that happened, this is a template with pre-existing prompts. You can see there are several to choose from. You can also just start from scratch and have a blank canvas. Once here, you are given blank slides. On each slide, you can see that you can add video, text, photos, and icons. Videos will come straight from your camera roll and are things that you have recorded with your iPad. Text boxes are any text that you would like to type. And you can also see the ability to record by pressing down this red microphone. Now you will notice across the top you also have three options, layout, theme, and music. If you click on layout, there are just different slide layouts that you can choose from and it will format your video for you. Themes give you different backgrounds and fonts to choose from. Again, once you tap one, it will apply it to your slides. Notice all of my slides at the bottom have changed now. Music is connected to the type of theme you choose. There are a bunch of pre-recorded songs that will play as background music in your videos for you to choose from or if you would like you can simply hit the trash can to delete it if you would like to hear it you just simply hear that play button to see if that music matches your theme or your topic you can see I still have some plus signs on my slide so if I wanted to add um, more information I could this specific layout that I chose had a title and text, so it's like a subtitle here, so that's what it's prompting me for. This plus sign is letting me choose any other media that I want to add. Down at the bottom, I can tap my next slide when I'm ready to create. Again, it's given me some layouts to choose from based off of that prompt. If I would have chosen a different prompt, it would have given me different options. I'm actually going to go hit my home button and back out. You can see my work is still in progress. This time, when I create my story, I'm going to choose a hero's journey. I get the same white canvas, but notice it has given me prompts on each slide. So the beginning one says to set up your story, and then it gives more details. Tell us about the hero and their world before the quest begins. You can see each slide has a different prompt based off of the topic that I chose. You don't have to follow those exa exactly, of course. However, they are good layouts if your story matches. A couple other things to note, if you tap on a slide, you can delete it, duplicate it, or preview your video. You can also notice how many seconds are set here. And as I mentioned before, when you add media, you have a few different options. So I just want to show these to you. When you click photo, it gives you some option. Find photos is going to let you um, search the web and choose photos that are um, licensed for reuse. So this is my hero I'm going to choose. There are some other options for you here. Um, 
I just want to make note about a few that confuse people. Google is not actually a Google image search. It is your Google photo. So that syncs with your Google account the same way Facebook or Dropbox would. And of course, um, take a picture will allow you to take one with your iPad and on my iPad are pre-existing photos. Those are the three you will probably use the most. Um, icon is another great one. Let's see if we can find an icon for Hero. There we go. There are a bunch of pre-existing icons as well that you can add into your slide, which is really nice. Once finished with your video, you will notice in the top right hand corner this universal iPad share button. Once you have completed your video, you will simply click save to camera roll. It will publish your video and save it to your iPad so that you can submit it on your choice of platform. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below.